It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. There is only a heartbeat between them. Motorsport manager, take control. So hello guys and welcome to a new series. Um, you probably guessed it by the uh, introduction. Uh, motorsport manager. So um, quick bit of background. Um, I love Formula One. Um, Therefore, I, um, I've seen Arava play this game, um, and uh, I thought, I want a piece of that cake, um, and uh, I picked up this game. Um, and I must be honest, um, I've had a quick go, about an hour or so, just getting used to everything. Um, and I must say, I've been loving this game. For a game that is that, that was just been released in about a month, I think it was... 10th of November it, w it was released, I could be wrong there. Um, November? Yeah, yeah, it would have been November, yeah it was. Um, <laughs> uh, for a game that was released um, on 10th of November, it's still relatively new. In fact, it is still new. And it is so well polished already, it is amazing. So, um, we're going to get started uh, with this. Um, this is going to be quite a long series, it it's not going to be something that that I'm going to be done with in a, in a, a month or so. Um, I, I am going to be uh, playing this for, for a good while. Um, as I want to... Oh, hang on. I want to take a team from the bottom, so Tier 3, all the way up to Formula 1. If I can do that, if I can't, I'll... I'll just do it so that if I do end up winning the the, the uh, constructors championship or the drivers championship um, in uh, tier three, I'll see if I can't move up to a team in tier two. Um, if that's how it works, I'm not entirely sure um, because I'm I'm still new to this game. Um, but anyway, uh, enough of that, and we'll focus uh, more on the present now rather than the future. Um, just putting in all of our our lovely details uh, United Kingdom, yes now this backstory I think is very very interesting um, it essentially gives you um, uh, boosters uh, so for example ex-driver could be a backstory uh, as a respected former driver your very presence gives drivers a real morale boost and happy drivers perform better within the race and so that will give us, uh, if we choose it uh, plus 30 driver morale which would be very very nice We've got other other options such as uh, X engineer. So with your background in engineering, you can help to trim down the time it takes to design new parts for the car, which take around uh, around eight days on average. So uh, uh, that'll uh, take away your part design uh, uh, for a day. So essentially, it'll take one less day to uh, uh, design, I suppose. Um, Another one, uh, financial. So your financial now will help you make the best deals on every purchase you make. Uh, so that's payments minus five percent. I assume that's all payments. So uh, payments to upgrading your HQ, uh, designing new parts, that sort of thing, um, which would actually be very uh, helpful, uh, to be honest. Um, another one is Politico. So as a political insider, your arguments carry more weight within the Global Motorsport Association. Um, enabling you to bend the sports rules in your favour. So, voting power of plus four each season. So I assume that's... I, th I think that would be that when you come to vote on uh, rule changes, uh, which is a part of this game which I think is absolutely amazing, um, you have uh, four points, or four voting power that you can use whenever you want. So, if there is a particular rule that you really 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 want you might be able to use all of those uh, the voting power that you have in reserve so those four votes to add on to the one you've already got so that'll be five votes 
for you to use in either for or against depending on how you feel so that'll be quite useful although I, I don't know I'm, I'm I'm not really uh, excited by that like I am on some of the others and then I, I think this is amazing you can choose to not have a backstory if you want which is something that not many games give you the option of having and I think that's that's a really good thing to have um, because as it says just no bonuses no experience no context just you and your knowledge of motorsport so I, I don't know I just seem to think that's a, a really good a really good thing to have that you you don't have to have any of those boosters if you don't want them if you just want to uh, essentially as if you've just come out of the wilderness from nowhere no background in anything and you've just suddenly been thrust um, in taking over your team um, but the one I'm interested in the most is this X driver, so plus 30 morale. As far as I'm concerned, if your drivers perform well in, in the race, uh, as as we've seen with uh, uh, Fernando Alonso uh, in the 2016 uh, Formula One season, um, he's been in a pretty average McLaren Honda, but he's finished 10th in the in the drivers' championship. So essentially, he has dragged that car up to that position. So I feel like if you've got a good driver. It, it negates the performance of your car somewhat. Of course, your perfor car performance and uh, your car in general is very, very important. But I feel like having a happier driver who will perform better um, is a big advantage. Um, so, yeah, skin tone, I'm happy with that. Uh, what hair have we got? Now, I can already tell that is very similar to the hair I've got. It's just stupid it's all over the place so we're gonna keep with that and uh, I don't really well I don't have a beard at all so we're gonna be clean shaven uh, but I do wear glasses and I think we're gonna go glasses one so enough of that next ah so here we go so we've got three tiers uh, world motorsport Asia Pacific uh, Super Cup and European racing series so I'm assuming essentially this is Formula One GP2 GP3 um, so rather than just jumping in straight at the top and uh, I don't really think I'd I would enjoy that and if I feel like if I'm not going to enjoy this then you guys aren't going to enjoy watching this and, and participating because one thing I do want to say quickly uh, just while it's on my mind otherwise I'll forget um, I want this to be a very interactive series so if, if you guys have any ideas or, or any particular route you want me to take uh, leave it down in the comment section below I'll read it and um, invariably I will do it unless it's a unless it's a silly idea um, I, I, I which I, I won't follow and, and will just end up uh, regressing the team then I, I won't follow it but if it's if it's a sensible idea I will definitely consider it um, but we're not going to go into GP2 either because I want to go from the bottom and take a team from the from the lowest uh, tier all the way up to Formula One so it'd be kind of a, a rags to riches story zero to hero uh, as it were so we're gonna go into the European racing series oh I love those graphics this is such a well polished game I'm, you'll be hearing me saying that a lot because it is a very very good game but anyway um, so here we've got the team choices uh, from Predator Racing Group being uh, I assume the worst car on the grid to Garuda Racing, which is essentially the best car that you can uh, you can uh, race us in, in this series. Uh, as, as you can see, it's expected to finish first and has, has a nice budget of four uh, million pounds. But I don't want to be the worst team uh, because I want to be able to to compete fairly early on. Uh, but I don't want to be the best either because we just won't get any challenge out of that. Um, so ZRT Autosport from the United States looks like they've got good drivers and good sponsors but mm, not a great car and not a great headquarters or staff either however that looks like it'd be an interesting team to race us um, I'm going to skip Archer BMR because uh, in Arav series he is uh, uh, he is using uh, well he is uh, using Archer BMR so I don't really want to tread in his toes with that because well that's his sort of thing uh, so I'm, I'm going to discount Archer BMR um, 
Dragon Race Team China. They've got good headquarters and good sponsors. Uh, they've got decent car and drivers and de good staff. Um, Octane Racing, they're looking okay. Vexala look quite good. As do Silver. Firebird look quite good as well. And so do Eastwood, but they look a bit too good. I, I want to have a bit of a challenge, so I'm thinking ZRT Motorsport is uh, is going to be the team that we're we're going to do. Descriptions of the ZRT have made a final desperate bet in a young, spoiled, talented driver to carry the team this season. Can Valdez be groomed to be the champion they need, or will he prove to be the final nail in ZRT's coffin? I'm I'm, I'm quite interested by that actually. Let's see if we can we can tame this young Valdez and try and uh, nurture him to be the champion that apparently the game and the team think he's going to be. Um, so yeah, was, expect to finish a ninth, budget of half a million. I think this would be an interesting team to go as. So we are going to take over ZRT Autosport from the United States. Oh, that's really cool. I'm assuming this is personalised to each one. That that's that's very very cool. I like that. So uh, just loading screens as per usual. Um, but anyway, I'll take this as a a time to uh, to essentially set out the plan that I want to do, which is, as I said, get this team competitive. Uh, oh, hang on, auto saving. Um, get this team competitive in. Um, the European Racing Series, uh, so that we can start uh, winning races and uh, well, just win races and get more money. Uh, develop next year's car a bit more. Develop the car that we're currently using uh, to eventually challenge for the drivers and constructors championship. Um, so, I, th I think. What we're going to do first is we're going to look at the mail, obviously. So, welcome to ZRT Autosport. Uh, so this is Natalie Adams, our assistant. Um, so that's just a general welcome to the team. We've got a welcome from Sergio Valdez, this young gun. Man, I used to watch you on TV when I was little. Can't wait to start working with you. Well, um, thank you. <laughs> uh, he gets on really well with uh, Aurelie Dembele. Um, so I hope you're going to keep us all feeling like one big happy family. Uh, I think I've got a chance to win the title this year. I'm an outsider, sure, but with a great season, I think we can do it. He, he is quite a high opinion of himself. and He thinks he's going to challenge for the title. I mean, obviously, I don't know how this car is going to perform, but... I, that's interesting. Um, so Dembele, so excited to be working with you. Uh, I grew up watching you racing. This is going to be great. I just know it. Uh, so she thinks that... Uh, well, she believes that she gets um, well, uh, okay with Sergio Valdez, but I'm working my socks off to prove that to you that I'm a much better driver. So there's a bit of competitiveness uh, between our two drivers, which might actually benefit us, but then again, if they fall out, it could be quite catastrophic, but, but we'll have to keep tabs on that and see if we can uh, appease them in terms of giving them the components uh, that they want for the car, so we're not just going to heavily uh, heavily uh, support Valdez and kind of neglect Dembele. Of course, if he ends up challenging for the title, we'll probably do that. So we'll, it gives us the best opportunity uh, of winning it. But again, that's talking. That, that, that's uh, that's uncertain. So we'll wait and see how uh, this season pans out. Uh, welcome to the, from the design facility. Uh, thank you. Um, apparently I was one hell of a driver back in the day. Uh, if you were anywhere near as good as that Boston room for a good season, well I'm hoping that I that I am. Um, on the HQ front, our design facility is pretty decent but there's always room for improvement. Uh, on the car front, we could definitely use some work on our brakes. They're lagging behind the competition and we could do with an upgrade. Anyway, I look forward to working with you. So brakes are what we need to look at. So we'll have a look at this A look at that when we've finished all of these emails. Uh, so report on ZRT Autosport drivers. So this guy, David Wildey, is a uh, head of a scouting department, uh, and he says that Sergio Valdez is one of the very best drivers in the European Racing League. He still has some potential to improve too, which is great. 
Uh, so Sergio's best skills is, uh, is his cornering, but he struggles with his fitness. So he's predicted to finish 17th at the season. So it seems like if we... Sergio Valdez is probably going to be... Well, I hope he's going to stay at the team for a long time. Because, judging from this, he has the potential to be a champion, which is what we're aiming for uh, in the European Racing League. So uh, we're going to have to try and keep a hold of him. Of course, of course he doesn't start before, if he doesn't perform, we'll consider shipping him out. But if he performs we will try and keep him. Um, so Dembele in European Racing Series terms, uh, she is one of the stronger drivers. Uh, the good news is she has a huge amount of potential and with her improvement she could become a real star. Her fitness is a strength but she struggles with her braking. Okay, so this is essentially we have two young uh, drivers with a lot of potential. So if these guys perform they're going to be staying with the team for a long time I feel because if they perform I'm going to want to keep them. Uh, but let's move on to our reserve driver. She says she's one of the. So we've got two of the the best apparently in the racing seri series. But then, um, uh, series I think that is series young is one of the weakest drivers in the European racing series. The potential is good though, and given the chance to improve, she could certainly become one of the better drivers in the championship. Her strength is a feedback, but she has a hard time with her cornering. Um, Okay, so, um, interesting. Anyway, targets for 2016. Uh, right, so, we need to decide on where we think we're going to finish. Uh, the chairman, Rebecca Hanlon, predicts that we're going to come ninth in the team's championship this season, but where do we think we're, I'm, where do I think we're going to finish? Um... I'm inclined inclined to believe uh, to uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go with uh, her prediction of ninth. I, I don't think we're going to be the worst team by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel as if seventh for my first season. I feel like this season is going to be a learning curve. I'm I'm I, I doubt I'm going to be able to hit the ground running. If I do, I may come to regret this decision. But I. I'm going to go with predict our season at 9th, so we'll get 1.56 million per race, uh, which means that for the total across the season, if we don't spend anything, we'll end up accumulating 14.06 uh, uh, million, uh, which is a decent amount. But um, I think we're going to finish 9th in the uh, constructors this year, so it's been accepted. Uh, so next we're going to go to the car. So it's got quite a low overall. Uh, the engine is apparently enough to put us ninth best in the grid. Acceleration ninth as well. Uh, deceleration ninth as well. Uh, spec the spec parts of the rear wing and the front wing are, are spec parts, so we can't improve them at all. Uh, and, uh, and the medium speed corners best for ninth as well. So we're a ninth team, essentially. Uh, but what we're going to do is first we're going to improve some parts for the upcoming Black Sea GP in 16 days, of which top speed, acceleration, and high speed corners are crucial. Uh, and it looks like it's going to rain in the race, so we need to take that into consideration. Um, but what we are going to do is. So, yeah, what I think we're going to do is we're going to improve the reliability of both our engines to start with. Uh, that won't be completed 13 days after the race, but um, it's not a case of after the 13 days, this goes from 65 to 100%. It, it will gradually improve uh, up to the race. So, for example, by the time we get to the Black Sea Grand Prix, they may have the reliability rating of 80, uh, which will be good enough. Uh, to be honest, the reliability looked good across the board, but I feel like as engines are going to be crucial for the Black Sea uh, Grand Prix, we're going to need that reliability. Um, so we'll put that on uh, and we'll go over to designing new parts. And it's the email said that we needed to look at brakes. So hang on, what, what we'll do before I, I do that, I've just noticed if we go over to our sponsors, we can see if we can get any more money from the sponsors now. So um, if we go and look at our main sponsor, so we've only got one which is Rust yet. Uh, so target position of 16th or above. 
uh, deal length is 10 races. We get an upfront payment of a million, which is nice, and a bonus payment of 75,000 uh, per race if you finish 16th or above. As is the only one, I'm going to accept it anyway, but still, that, that is actually quite nice. So there we go, for confirm that. That's 1.5 million in the bank now, which is nice. If you go to the fixed payments, uh, so we've got a choice of Kashima, which is a length of uh, deal length of 13 races, sorry, um, and that's fixed at three, uh, 300,000 per race. So, that, so we'll get that regardless of where we finish, as opposed to Khan Kana Blanco, I think that is, um, which is a deal length of 10 races. We get an upfront payment, so that's an immediate payment of 200,000 pounds, and a fixed pay per race of 2,000. So, hmm. So essentially, that means that. From this, we will earn two million, I believe, uh, per race with this deal. But I feel as if this will be better for us in the long run, the Kashima deal. So I'm going to go with the Kashima deal. Although we won't get any money up front, we'll still be getting uh, 300,000 per race. The reason I didn't th calculate this now is... Um, my math is terrible and I just embarrass myself. Um, so we've got that sponsor there and now we've got one more uh, uh, of which oh 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 Balmina have offered us uh, a, a deal which gives us just one upfront payment of four million pounds obviously I'm gonna accept this is the only one but still that is nice so that's 5.5 million pounds we've got to spend now. And our sponsors on our car are coming along quite nicely now. So if we go back to the car and go to design new parts, um, they said that uh, the brakes are what we need to work on. So even though engine and gearbox are crucial for next race, I'm going to go with the brakes. Um, as as that's what we are weak on, as as we can see here, um, and also it costs l the less amount as well. I mean, I know we're not exactly short of money, but but still, I feel like this will be uh, the best bet for us in the long run. So we're gonna click on that, and we so I think we're gonna go for plus plus 20 deceleration and so that's that'll cost us uh, 550 thousand pounds and uh, Bill Park confirm so we spent our first bit of money it's taken us down to uh, four million nine hundred fifty thousand so that's cool um, and one thing I'm going to do before is uh, in fact actually no we'll look at our staff so Rachel McAndrew looks okay and has uh, a quite decent potential. So I think I'm going to keep her, but I want to replace Billy Evans guy and, and Peter O'Sullivan for that matter because they're just not good enough. Uh, for the vision that I have for this team, I, 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 I'm not happy with keeping them here already. So we're going to go to scouting. Uh, so we want uh, designers. Um, I'm wanting quite a young designer that has a decent potential. Now this guy here, Paul uh, Trenoweth, looks very, very good and he's unemployed. So we'll see if he's interested and approach him. And he's not interested. Fully expected. Um, he's very, very good go uh, looking uh uh, designer already, so I, I'm not surprised by that. But let's see. Now we could try and get this uh, Malana Romero from Silver Racing, 
She's only got one and a bit stars, but she's a potential of three, well, pretty much four stars. But we'll have a quick look at the... In fact, we'll go to all and we'll look at the cost per race because we don't want to spend too much. So we'll see if there's a a decent... Hang on, look look at this guy here. Frederick Kelly has a potential of at full five stars and he's already on a three and a bit. So we'll see if he's interested. He is interested. Okay. So let's start negotiations. So he says wages are important to him. Now as you are he's good and he's gonna he's he, what well, his potential is that he's gonna be very good. We're gonna I'm prepared to splash the cash on him. So we'll start off by giving him a wage of uh Two hundred thousand per race. He said he'd prefer medium contracts. I'll give you one for twenty, twenty-one months. He said he'd like a nice signing-on fee. I can give you that. Uh, not too much though. Uh, Four hundred fifty thousand. I'd go with that. And he says he wants a bonus size as well. So what we'll do is eighth or above, and I'll give you sixty-two thousand uh, per race if we get eighth and above. Uh, I'm happy with that, so we'll send that off. So that's one guy there. Uh, now we'll look for a race mechanic as well, and we'll do the same sort of thing. Uh, we'll see if there's any decent ones. Uh, preferably they're unemployed. And here we go. Alex Gray from America. She's already five, uh, three stars, but she has a potential of five. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna s approach her and see if. Uh, she wants to join the team, so she is interested as well. So we will start negotiations. Wages are important to her as well, so we'll give you. Oh well, we can only go to seventy-three thousand, but that's that's a decent amount. It's definitely not on the same sort of levels that we offered. Um, uh, I can't remember the guy's name now, um, but the, the guy beforehand. Um, so I'm happy to go with that. Uh, not to mention we do have the money. Uh, she wants a medium contract for 21 months as well. She's like a nice signing on fee, so we'll give you a signing on fee of uh, 105,000. Nice. Uh, bonus size is quite important, so again, 8th or above, and you can have 62,000. I'll go with that. So I'll send that off. So proposal has been sent, and I'm going to leave it at that for the minute. So we've got two pending at the minute. For Frederick Kelly, that's the guy, and uh, Alex Gray. So I'm happy with all of that. So we will continue and move on. Okay, so if we go to our mail, so these are just bits that don't really bother me. Uh, but we've got a dilemma Sergio's birthday. It's his birthday. Should we get him a nice present? I hear he's pretty touchy about his birthday. What do I think? So a card will do will give us minus 10 for his morale. And that's for a big party. We'll lose 100,000, but it'll increase his morale by 10. So I'm going to go for that. Let's throw him a big party. It'll be like Red Bull, the party team of the paddock. There we go. Right, so... There we go. Uh, so we'll continue again. So we don't have much to do. Our designing with breaks will be finished on Monday, which has come now. Uh, oh, but we've got an interview, so uh, I will accept that. Uh, well, you've certainly picked a uh, tough task for your first job. Are you expecting to pick up many points at all this season? Um, it is a tough task, but I believe that we can pick up the points. Our, both our drivers seem quite motivated, so. Uh, I'm quite confident we'll manage a few decent finishes, but I'm making no promises. Uh, I think that'll be the best. Sergio Valdez is seen by the fans as your top driver. Do you agree with that, or would you say that uh, Aurele Dembele is better? Uh, I think they're both two great drivers. They've got so much potential. Um, so uh, I'm lucky enough to have inherited two great drivers, and I can't wait to see them race. Um, it's going to be quite quite good this first race. Um, in the Central Sports Network season preview, I wrote that you're expected to finish ninth in the team's championship. Is that accurate, or do you think you can do any better? Um, yeah, I think the prediction seems fair. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that we can do better and, and surprise uh, the journalists and, and 
myself as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with, go with that. Uh, we all remember your time as a fan favourite racer a few years back. But will you be able to transfer your skills to the management game? Uh, yeah. Uh, hypothetically, um, as obviously I'm not actually an ex-racer. Um, but I would imagine that as an ex-racer you know the ins and outs of what a racing driver needs uh, to make a, uh, a great car. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine really. So yeah, that's everything. Awesome. So I'm going to finish that interview. Uh, and here we go. So the brakes have finished uh, being built. So we'll check out the car. And we'll fit that part. Uh, oh, apparently Sergio Valdez is angry with his car already. Didn't notice this already. So we'll fit, fit the parts. So we, we'll give Sergio those new brakes straight away. But he's still not happy. Um, he's got the best engine. Uh, he's got best gearbox and he's got the best suspension I can't give you anything more mate yes you are getting high performance and Dembele yeah, she's not complaining Ugh, I, I can see he's already going to be a problem but I'll just have to try and get through it, but anyway, we've we've given him the the new brakes that we've got, um, and we'll give Dembele the old brakes that Sergio had that that are just slightly better than the ones she's had. Um, and what we're going to do is I've just noticed is forty percent reliability, so we're going to improve parts. We will get rid of those two. Uh, they're on seventy one percent, which is good enough for me. And we will improve the reliability. And I think we'll go for the performance of the new brakes that we've given uh, Dembele, and we'll adjust that so it's, it look a bit deep. It will look decent. So there we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, and there's something else there. So we'll can. Oh, actually no. We'll see if we can build any other parts on the car. There's only other parts. Uh, so. I think what we'll do next is we'll go for acceleration because as you can see there it's now our lowest one so uh, we'll go with gearbox um, and I'm gonna go with plus 25 uh, to max acceleration which I'm happy with there we go so that'll cost one million uh, and fifty thousand uh, pounds which I'm happy to take as, as I said we've got the money so we'll build that part confirm Okay, now I'm aware that it's, we'll get it two days after the race, but at least we've got a new part in the pipeline uh, ready to, to come after uh, the race. So we will continue. And we've got our proposals now, so we can have a look at them. Uh, we'll go to the mail. So Alex, Alex Gray has accepted her contract, so um, of course we will sign you and we'll replace Billy Evans. So there we go, we'll sign her and replace Billy Evans. We'll probably, yeah, so we're going to have to uh, pay uh, 154000 to break his contract, but I'm happy to do that. Uh, so we'll confirm that. So we've, we've lost a bit more money, but I feel like in the long run, uh, Alex is going to be a lot, lot better um, for us. Uh, now, Frederick Kelly, if we go back to the mail... Uh, he wants to renegotiate, so we'll do that. So he's um, he's insulted by uh, uh, the wage. So um, and it's the last chance as well. So I'm just gonna go all in. That's all we can offer you, mate. Three hundred, three hundred thousand is all I can offer you. I just hope he accepts that. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll supplement that by giving him uh, three quarters of a million signing on fee. Uh, he was unhappy with that, but I'm hoping that's all. Uh, balance that. Uh, apart from that he's happy with his uh, contract length and race bonus so hopefully you'll accept that. Please please accept it uh, Frederick. So Alex yeah, you've signed. Brilliant. So yeah that's just to confirm the change so we'll continue again and uh, that'll go all the way to uh, the Black Sea now. Where, ooh, we'll also get the contract proposal from Frederick uh, so report on the upcoming race uh, cool, cool, cool. So, okay, so 
they want me to to invest in the telemetry center um, so we'll have a look at that uh, how much is the telemetry center so I need a level 2 factory first and let's be honest I'm not going to be getting that until next season so that's something that's going to have to wait um, yeah to well mm, yeah actually we, we could upgrade now but I feel like we need to see if uh, Kelly accepts his contract first because I feel like that's more important in the long run so we'll go to our mail and he's accepted oh thank you Kelly thank you so we'll go to staff we will sign him and Peter as soon as I saw your stats you were never going to be at this team for long so we're replacing him with an infinitely better uh, lead designer and we're only going to have to pay uh, 90,000 to uh, to break uh, Peter's contract so I will do that oh actually no hang on we've also got to pay for uh, Kelly signing on fee so that's a large chunk taken out so I'm glad I didn't go for uh, that upgrade but there we go Hello, Frederick Kelly. Oh, just those, those. Oh, that potential is just. We've got the makings of a good team now. That this, I feel like we don't have to uh, change any of our staff members now because these guys can take us to the top. Um, Rachel McAndrews, the only one I'd be slightly worried about, but these other two guys are. They will be staying for the team for a long, long time. I feel. Um, but as I can see. We've got some sponsor options in uh, a race bonus ones. We've got three of them, so we'll have a look. So, ooh. Interesting. So they're all secondary and above. So, uh, ideally, I'm not entirely confident of going for these ones, which, which will give us a bonus if we finish second or above. But I am tempted to go for this Northern Harbour one, which will give us an upfront payment of... Uh, one uh, one million two hundred fifty thousand, uh, and give us a bonus payment of eight hundred eighty thousand if we manage to finish seven, uh, second or above. So we will get this money straight away, no strings attached. But if we do uh, and are fortunate enough to finish second or above, we'll get a nice little payment as well. So yeah, not not that this Sang Sangju does push that deal uh, of Northern Harbour quite. High, uh, quite highly. Ugh, I can't speak now. Uh, it's quite competitive, as we do will get a bonus payment of a million if we do manage to finish second or above. However, I feel like this is better for us as we get the money straight away, and if we are lucky to finish, that's still a decent amount. So I'm going to go with Northern Harbour. Accept that contract. So there we go. One, uh, one million two hundred fifty thousand in the bank. So that's three thousand nine hundred fifty one in the bank, and that's all our sponsors filled so I think the next thing to do is just finish off with a mail so yeah this is just to confirm that Kelly has now joined ZRT Autosport and we can continue and move on towards the race now so here we go see as you see there drivers staff and sponsors are very good it's just our headquarters and car which are lagging behind so we'll try and we'll try and focus on these now uh, so we'll probably look at upgrading our headquarters next actually that might be a better thing for us to do uh, so we'll continue again towards the Black Sea Grand Prix and we need to choose our sponsors now now I don't want to go for Northern Harbour because that's a bit too ambitious for us at the minute as I feel is Acus, I feel like we need the money now so so I'm gonna go with Rustia Airways even though it's a very very small bonus <sighs> every little helps so we'll choose that so that means that our profit uh, including the bonuses will be a hundred and nine uh, thousand pounds um, at the minute I'm not sure what this team is gonna do so I feel like just going for the lowest amount to to be able to gauge uh, where the team is sitting at the minute is a good idea because at least we're well hopefully we should get that uh, 75,000 so I'm happy with that part fitting um, I don't really want to change anything on these I mean I've, I've <sighs> Sergio you've got all the best parts just stop complaining I feel like he, we're just going to need to give every good part to him to just keep him happy and as long as we keep Dembele competitive she'll be fine with whatever we give her so um, 
yeah, we'll move on to the race now. Happy with all of that, so let's race. So there we go, we have arrived in Russia for the Black Sea Grand Prix. Um, as you saw, uh, as you can see in the bottom left, sorry, and as you saw uh, on that cutscene, um, that's the layout of the track, which uh, it looks to be high speed. Look, it looks like we're going to have to find the ba right balance between high speed and acceleration, as there are, looks like there are some quite slow corners, but there also looks to be some quite fast flowing corners. Um, so our two drivers we're going to do for uh, take for practice are obviously going to be Sergio and Dembele. Um, actually, this is something I haven't quite noticed that Dembele, apparently, this is going to be as good as uh, she gets. Uh, so we might want to think about, depending on how she performs this season, we may want to think about getting a new driver uh, for next season. However, this is only the first. Like, I can't believe I'm actually talking about this. That we haven't even. St finish the first race of the season and already talking about changing drivers um, so I'm going to forget about that for the minute um, and we'll move on uh, and focus on this race so with Valdez we'll set up his car so it looks like he we recommended to uh, biomechanics to go for a lower downforce but I feel like we need to find a good balance so I'll decrease the front wing angle to there and I'll decrease the rear, rear wing angle as well. In fact, I'll increase the front wing handling slightly and decrease that a little more. There we go. Speed balance will re reduce the tyre pressures. And leave the tyre camber at 2 degrees. I'm going to want to reduce the gear ratios to try and keep it a bit sent towards acceleration and suspension stiffness I'll keep at 56% I'm, I'm happy with that we'll see how that goes and see what Valdez's feedback is to that so tire choice um, we'll go out on the softs we'll, we'll try and get uh, level 1 on soft tires um, and level 1 on race trim as well um, so, so, so that we can run long in the race if we need to um, so I'm happy with all of that, so we'll confirm that for Sergio. And for Dembele, we will lower the front wing angle and do the same for the rear wing to about there. I'll just add a tad of tyre pressure. Leave the cat tyre camber as it is. Uh, in fact, I'm going to leave the rest of it as it is. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll see what she says about that. And we'll do the same, go on to tyre choice, and we'll confirm that, and we'll continue, and take practice. So there we go. Right, so, send out Valdez, uh, that's the setup that we've just done. Uh, Stints, race trim, three laps, yes, tyre choice, soft, so we'll send out Valdez, and we'll do the same for Dembele as well, yeah, stints, race trim, yeah, entire choice, yeah, soft, so it sends her out as well, and we'll just quicken up the pace of where he's a all day, um, so we'll ride on board with Valdez for his outlap, uh, and then we'll probably stay, stay on with him for his, uh, uh, laps as well, um, I'm going to keep him on neutral and medium. In fact, I'm going to keep both of them on neutral and medium. Uh, just so they can get the most out of both their tyres and their fuel so they can last the full three laps of the race trim. Uh, so we'll see how how they go now. So, ooh, Dembele says she's loving the handling. So, we've done a good job with her, apparently, uh, according to her. And Valdez has come into perfect gear ratio, so looks like we've, we've done quite well at the minute. We might have already sorted out the setups, but we'll carry on and see uh, 
and see what the lap times are. Um, oh, but Dembele says we need to run more angle on the wings. Okay, so we'll bear that in mind for when we bring them in because I, I want to bring them in and send them back out again before um, the end of this practice. Uh, probably let them have one more lap after this and then we'll bring them in. Uh, Dembele, uh, Valdez, sorry, also says that he feels like we're running the wrong aero setup. So it looks like both drivers have said the aero is not necessarily there. And we've just unlocked race trim as well. Yes, Dembele also wants short gearing. So it seems like we've got the handling right, but everything else is a bit fishy at the minute. Um, so yeah, we'll bring them both in now, actually. Uh, so we can sort out uh, their, their cars and set them up properly for them. So there we go, into into the pits. Valdez comes and Dembele will follow him in. There we go. So, ah, that's okay. So, downforce is poor uh, for Valdez. Excellent handling and good speed balance. Uh, likewise for Dembele, excellent handling. Uh, poor downforce as well, like Valdez, but okay speed balance. So, We'll try and tinker with Dembele's setup. So she said that she wants more downforce, so we'll increase the front wing angle to about there, I feel. Um, I think she wants... Is it longer gear ratio? No, it'd be shorter gear ratio, so I'll bring it down to there. And we'll keep the handling as close as we can, so... Oh, in fact, I'm going to increase the downforce a bit more to about there by increasing the rear wing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Stints, uh, race trim again, and I think we'll go on to a new set of softs. And just, I feel like we're going to use softs in the race quite a lot. Um, so we'll do that. So we'll send out Dembele again, and we will tinker with Valdez's now. So. As we saw, uh, poor on the downforce, excellent on the handling, and good on the speed balance. So we'll just tinker with the uh, downforce a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll increase the rear ang uh, wing angle to there. Reduce the tyre pressures to try and get as close to handling as possible. And yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll leave that and see what he says about the downforce. Uh, stints, race trim, yeah, and tire choice of softs again so we'll send them out again and we'll play there we go so we'll just tinker around with those and there we go out they go uh, we'll follow Dembele this time as we followed Valdez for both his outlap and uh, outlaps and most of his uh, uh, laps um, but as you can see on the current standings over on the left we're not doing too badly. I mean, although this is uh, practice and it doesn't really mean anything, we are 12th and 17th. Um, and this is when we are going at uh, neutral or medium uh, for our strategy for both drivers. So it means that we do still have some more performance uh, to pump out of these cars when we, um, we, we were in the race. Uh, not to mention we were on the softs, although the majority of drivers are on the softs. Oh, so Valdez, sorry, has just come back and said that the downforce is great now. And the aero setup on Dembele is way better as well, so we might have actually just figured that out. Um, one thing I will say is I don't actually have any experience in uh, aeronautical engineering, so I have not much idea on, on, on aero and, and stuff like that on Formula 1 cars, but I can <laughs> I, I can vaguely understand it. Um, okay, so Valdez has said that he's hitting the limit on straights, though, so we may want to... Uh, increases gear ratios a bit uh, and the speed balance feels much better for Dembele as well who's now uh, got high setup knowledge which will be good and Valdez looks like he's he's hit hit it now and we've also got uh, level 2 on the soft tyres and on race trim as well so we're looking good for this race at the minute and, and practice has just ended there um, Valdez says he needs more down through force through the corner so we could fiddle with that before the race and uh, the gearing uh, according to Dembele uh, is, is good as well so overall I think this has been a very very productive practice session I, I must be honest I'm very excited to see what we can do during the race um, so uh, yeah 
we could be we, we could do quite well during it in this race. And there we go, just waiting for two cars to finish as they round the final corner, and there we go. Right, so we managed to finish twelfth and eighteenth uh, in that practice session. Of course, it doesn't mean anything as practice, it's just about getting your setup sorted, but still I'm for my first practice session, I think that's decent. So we'll continue. Uh, this is just stuff saying uh, from the practice session, just letting uh, the media know this. And we go straight to the races in the um, European uh, racing series. There, are, there is no qualifying. It's just practice and straight to the race. Uh, and it is reverse, uh, a reverse grid as well. Uh, so, right, empty slots. Uh, we can only have soft tyres and race trim, and I assume that's for both drives as well. So we'll just put those straight in. Um, as a res result of that I'm going to start both drivers on the soft tyres I'm, I'm wanting to do. So right so uh, talking about the setups uh, Valdez uh, had said it was okay downforce uh, excellent handling still and okay speed balance but he said he wanted to increase the gear ratio so we'll increase that further that way for him uh, and that's oh in fact I'm gonna lower the wings slightly and lower the tire camber so we can get back onto that handling uh, and speed balances towards top speed now so I'm happy with that um, tire choice though uh, we're gonna start him on softs he is third, but I want him to go long, and as we've got the, the level 2 on soft tyres, uh, which gives us 10% more performance on them, I'm going to want to use these as my main tyres. And uh, if we want them up for 12 laps, uh, the soft tyres can go to 12 laps, but if we use a bit of fuel saving, we could we could uh, take them to uh, 14 laps if we wanted to. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So, confirm that for Valdez. And we'll look at Dembele's now. Uh, she says, okay downforce, great handling, great speed balance. Now, I, I don't want to fiddle with these now because that that's okay. That, that's that's quite good, actually. Um, I'd rather she stayed on that than me tinker slightly and, and ruin it completely. So I'm going to keep it on that. But tie choice, I'm going to go for the same strategy as Valdez. Considering she's also 17th, uh, I'm going to want her to go long and uh, fuel up 12. Uh, same strategy as Valdez, really. Uh, so there's no, going to be no splitting of strategy unless uh, a situation requires it to. Um, and the weather the forecast, I'll have a quick look and see. doesn't look like it's going to rain at all, uh, at least not that I can see at the minute. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this water on track and weather forecast uh, to uh, in case any rain comes. Uh, and so without further ado, uh, let's get to the race. Okay, so here's the grid. Got uh, William Evans on pole, Tanvir Jar second, Sergio Valdez third, Sergio Arbelo fourth, Sergei Antonov fifth, Nick Chu sixth, Mustafa El Sadat seventh, Merger Vananen eighth, Luigi Marchetta ninth, Jean Pierre Girard tenth, Jean Francois Beauchamp eleventh, Inez Santa Anna twelfth, Eduardo Melo thirteenth, Edda Jean Stead fourteenth. Claudia Dreyfus 15th, Bao Tang 16th, Aurelie Dembele 17th, Andre Sabado 18th, Amanda Cala Calavacanti 19th, and Alex Rogers 20th. Um, I should just say, sorry if I've uh, mispronounced any names during uh, that, but that's the, the grid, uh, how we line up for the Russian Grand Prix. And we go to one lights, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights, and it's go, 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 and Valdez gets quite slow off the line. We're going to quickly switch the strategy to attack and overtake for both drivers. Um, Valdez has gone down to fourth. Uh, he's about to go down to fifth as well. But he is on the slower tyre compared to Arbelo and Antonov, who have just overtaken him. Um, so I'm expecting that. Um, as I'm expecting Al Sada is coming through now to take fifth, is on the super softs as well. Um, so I'm hoping now, though, that we can... We can stick here, although 
Valdez is going back up the inside of Al Sadat, but I don't think he's going to take that. Um, uh, we're going to lose a place to Marchetta as well at the same time. Um, but I, I feel like seventh and, and sixth and seventh is where we can fight at the minute, considering the other cars ahead are on super softs. Um, I kind of want to stay in this position because we are running long, so uh, that doesn't bother me as much. Uh, Dembele is an 18th. Uh, 17th now um, she's she's doing okay she's not bad um, of course there are drivers obviously ahead of her on the super softs who will pit and she will go ahead of but in light of that I'm going to take her fuel down to high I still wanted to push um, or uh, attack sorry uh, but I want the engine in overtake mode so we can save a little bit of fuel but Valdez is going on the attack and is attacking Arbelo and El Sadat um, which is good to see, and he is pulling away from 7th as well, Beauchamp, uh, although he has, Beauchamp has made up a bit more uh, time in that corner. Um, oh, and he's, uh, he's just dive-bombed Valdez out of nowhere, come on. Um, now, I am going to put him down to neutral driving style, but still overtake, because his tyres are on 62% now, so he has been pushing a, a bit too much, and at this rate, we've got more tyre wear than people on the super softs already. We may have to consider just running softs and, and just being aware of 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 the strategy of pushing. Um, but with, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, see, I feel like we're going to have to bring in Valdez quite soon. He's, he's, he's on quite heavy fuel, though. Um, Dembele is cooking a tyre slightly, so I'm going to put her down to push as well, so push and high for her. Um, yeah, Valdez is slowly slipping down the order. I feel like for him to actually do anything, I may have to pit him quite soon. Dembele is doing okay, she's, she's getting through uh, and going along quite nicely. Yeah, you are churning through tyres, but it's why I've slowed you down a little bit. So, so seven place Evans, some super softs, quite worn super softs. He's about to pit. I'm going to keep Valdez going for at least another lap. Um, so he goes up to sixth, but I'm. Uh, I think I'm going to pit this lap and try and and try and do something with him before his tyres fall off the cliff. In fact, I'm going to do that now. We're going to put him on another set of, set of soft tyres, uh, fuel him up for 12 laps. Uh, park condition is, is looking really good at the minute, I must admit. So I'm happy with all of that. And pit strategy, we're going to go for balance, so estimated time of 11 seconds. I don't want to go fast because I don't really want mistakes. I'm, I'm happy for for the pit crew to, 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 to to just get on with their job and just get Valdez out without any mistakes. So we'll pit him this lap. Um, Dembele will do the same, so we'll almost double stack our drivers, but hopefully they won't hold each other up and we'll do exactly the same for her. Park condition is looking very good as well, uh, and, pit, and pit strategy uh, will put on balance, so estimated time 10 seconds, I'm happy with that. So we'll pit her as well. Quickly switch back to Valdez, who is just in the pits now. So we'll see how the pit crew performs for the first time this year. In he comes, he stops on the blocks. Uh, refueling, oh there's a mistake in the refueling. On We have double stacks as, well, stacks as well, so that means that Dembele is going to lose time as well. Um, ugh. Really didn't need that there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry Dembele, that was my fault. Um, I, I didn't realise actually how quickly you'd you'd get it uh, in. in. Uh, also about that mistake. Uh, that was my fault. I've, I've messed that up there. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Valdez is coming round the final corner. There are quite a lot of people in the pits as well. So we'll see if we can get up again. And we're just back out into 8th. So I'm, I'm falling back down to ninth as well. So 10th. Uh, down to 11th. <sighs> Go back up to the 10th though. So that, that's okay. Um, we're doing okay. It's... It's not bad, as long as we finish 
uh, 16th or above, I'll be happy with that. At the end of the day, this is this is my this is the first race of the season. I just want to see where the cars at, whether how the drivers are performing, um, and what we can do to improve this car. Um, at the minute, 10th, I'm quite happy with. 10th, 16th, 15th, by the looks of it, um, I'm quite happy with. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with how we're going at the minute. It looks like we, we are definitely a midfield team. Um, so I'm happy to con continue along with this strategy that we're following. Um, I'm going to increase Dembele's engine mode to overtake so we can burn a bit more fuel because I feel like we're just taking a bit too much fuel for these tyres at the minute. Um, quickly check, is it going to rain anytime soon? No, so it looks like we're going to be okay up, till it, uh, up until at least lap 15. Um, so, yeah. This is okay. Uh, our tyre wear at the minute is uh, comparative to the drivers around us. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, there is um, Sabado uh, up ahead in sixth who looks like he is going to pit soon, uh, which should promote us up a place, uh, depending on where he is. In fact, where is he? Uh, sixth. Yeah, he, he's just come into the pits now, I think. So, yeah, we will go up a place. Uh, so we'll go up to ninth, uh, which will be nice. I don't know if Dembele will be able to, to overtake him. Uh, she's just coming onto the pit straight now, as you can see in the top right. And, yes, she does. She does manage to get past Sabado uh, to 14th, but he's on much fresher tyres, so I don't expect her to stay there for that long. Uh, Valdez is complaining he's going through his tyres. Um, however, I'm quite happy with that, because the fuel is coming down as well, so we are going to have to pit soon. Um, so I'm, a I'm actually okay with that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that fussed, but be pissing these guys in the minute. So Dembele is, is up to 13th as well, which is nice, after I assume Chu pitted for Super Softs. Uh, Yet yeah, you are going to be, be okay with a few le levels, Valdez, because you are going to pit in a minute. Um, we are slowly catching up with 8th place uh, Jean Dottier. Um Sorry if I pronounced that wrong again. Um, so we are we're in quite a good place at the minute, but I'm going to pit Valdez this lap. Uh, because his tyres aren't going to last that long before they fall off the cliff and he's on uh, 1.05 laps of fuel. So I'm going to put him in another set of softs, fuel him all the way up to 12 laps. So when we get to this last stint, we'll go on a super soft stint and uh, go to the end. Uh, park condition, engine's looking a little dodgy. Um, I'm going to leave it, I'm going to see how it goes. and. Uh, a pit strategy are balanced again. So I'll go with that. And Dembele, I'm going to do the same for her as well. We'll go on soft. Fuel options, do exactly the same with her. Uh, part condition, still looking okay again. A pit strategy balanced. So we'll do that. Right, so Valdez is now in the pits. Uh, the refueling has gone quite well. Great, good, and tyres, and we aren't double stacking this time. So Dembele will come straight in, refuel. Uh, awesome pit stop, it was Valdez. Great refueling as well, good tyres. So the pit crew has well and truly redeemed itself with that. We'll move the engine mode down to overtake uh, over high for both drivers so we can try and get these tyres to a point where we can then go onto the super softs and go straight to the end but that was a very good pit stuff I'm very very impressed with that um, so hopefully Valdez will hopefully gain the undercut and, and get past those people who who's coming up to uh, who's fighting so uh, Jean, uh, Jean Stottier was the uh, uh, driver who was ahead of us uh, so hopefully we can get past them but we've gone back up to 10th as well with drivers ahead of us who are need going to need to pit uh, but we are found as is being contested by El Sadat um, Dembele has I know I haven't focused on Dembele all that much as uh, she is the driver behind but she has been doing a very very good job just um, managing to defend her position and just going about her business uh, yeah Valdez is getting some engine problems I feel like 
yeah, it's just getting engine problems. But I feel like we're going to have to address that when we next come in. Uh, but Valdez has gone up to 8th. In fact, I'm going to have a look at the condition. We're going to have to repair that when he comes in. Uh, I mean, it's okay for Dembele, but I don't think we're going to be able to go to the end like this. We, we, I'm going to have to do something about it. Um, which is annoying. But I'm going to keep the drivers on the strategy as they are. Hang on. Sabado's and Vananen have gone into Inters. Is it, is it? Ah, it's going to rain soon. That might actually help us because we can pit and then sort out their engines. I don't want to pit right now though um, because I don't feel like it will really benefit us. I feel like it's too early to go on to Inters. Um, but the rain has started to fall now. Um, I think within the next lap or two we'll definitely pit for Inters. Um, in fact we'll go we'll do this lap and then we'll pit then. Um, I'm just not entirely confident. Right so now Valdez, we will pit you for some inters and we'll fuel you up 12 laps so we've got 11 laps remaining so that should take us to the end if if we look after our uh, ourselves uh, I'm not actually going to fix the engine I'm going to gamble, I'm going to take a gamble I don't really want to cause if, if we go, if we click fix part for that it's 29 seconds, I, I can't afford that at the minute, so I'm going to leave that on 11 seconds uh, estimated pit stop time, balanced as well so we pit him but I'm actually going to pit Dembele now. I know we're kind of splitting the strategy for the first time this race, but I'm going to put her on intermediates, fuel her up to 12 laps, so towards the end. Park condition is looking okay as well. Our engine is better than uh, the drivers, so put on balanced as well. 10 seconds estimated pit stop. So, yeah, her engine is better than Valdez, uh, but I'm happy with that. So. We'll see what Dembele's pit stop like. Uh, so refueling is good and tyres are good as well. So that's a good pit stop. We'll go on to Valdez who's coming around now. Uh, he's complaining at his engine. Is it bad now? It is bad. Um, hang on. Right, so I'm going to have to redo his pit strategy. So Inters, uh, give him 11.33 laps of fuel. Uh, park condition, I'm going to have to fix it. We're going to have to take the dive of 30 seconds. And for that, I'm going to put him on fast to reduce the estimated pit stop time by two seconds. But we're going to fall down the order for that. But I, I can't, I can't leave him on that and risk his engine failing because we will lose more time. So when he comes for his pit stop, hope the refueling is good. It is good. His tyres. Oh, there's a mistake on one of the tyres. It's the last thing we needed. And the engine is, is being repaired there. So the yeah, tyres are bad. He's down in 13th place. He's been overtaken by Dembele. So. Uh, that wasn't amazing, but we had to take that dive. But it's still respectable, and we do have better tyre wear than, uh, for example, Sabado ahead of us and the other drivers. So I feel like, in the grand scheme of things, that was actually better for us to do. Um, but we may have to switch to wet later on in the race. I want to try and stay on in Inters because I want to go to the end. Um, but, yeah... Well, we'll see how it goes for there, but we're going to switch to Dembele as she is the, the lead driver. Valdez is being lapped by Jar. Um, but still, I, I feel like, regardless of that, we're still we're still having a decent race. I am learning a lot and that our drivers are capable. Uh, as long as I don't muck them up, um, they are very, very good. Um, Valdez is having good tyre wear on his inters, but Dembele isn't. So I'm going to move her da style down to neutral. Uh, to try and save some tyre wear, uh, but she's coming up to be lapped by Jar. Um, but as you can see on the mini map there, we're kind of in no man's land here. Um, both of our drivers, uh, for example, Dembele has quite a sizable gap to t the 12th place man tank, uh, but likewise, Valdez has quite a big gap to 15th place uh, Dreyfus. So we're kind of just in, in no man's land here. There's, there's no one really who we can attack right now, but there's no one who we can um, defend from either. So, at the minute, this is just quite kind of like a status quo, but the, the rain is increasing. I, I feel like it might be worth us actually going onto the wet. 
Uh, there are some people in the pits now, but they've gone to fresh inters. But I feel like when it gets to about lap 28, it might actually be wet conditions. But I'm, it says we've got excess fuel, so I'm going to stick the uh, Valdez's engine up into overtake. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm a little bit. I'm wondering whether it's worth taking the gamble. To be honest, uh, actually, no. Unless the drivers start complaining and, and there is a visible loss of time, um, I'm not going to pit them for wets. Uh, but Valdez has come in and said he wants to pit for wets. Um, okay, he is behind. I'm going to keep Dembele out. But I will pit Valdez. Put him onto the wets. Uh, there's five laps remaining, so I'm going to keep the fuel as it is. Park condition, I'm going to leave. The brakes are looking a bit dodgy, though. Um, put them in. In fact, it might actually be worth me doing this now. Yeah, so 11 sec. So it's, it'd be the same as if we're putting on fuel uh, for the park condition. So I'll do that, and I'll pit him. Uh, and Dembele is complaining as well. But I'm going to... Uh, I, sh I probably should have brought Dembele in, so I'll put... Her and Wets. She's got four laps. Put one lap of fuel in. Uh, fix her engine as well before that fails. And fast, yeah, 23. I'll leave that. I'm, I'm going to have to. Otherwise, she'll end up uh, falling off the cliff as well. Uh, but Valdez is in for his pit stop. Uh, Tyres are looking good. Brakes are being repaired very quickly. Good. I'm happy with that. He's going to be out... Uh, in 15th place by the looks of it and he's on wet. the only man in the race at the minute to be um, but Dem uh, Dembele soon will be the uh, next driver uh, to go on to wet um, and we're still in, uh, in 16th or above so I'm happy with that but drivers are looking like they're pitting in uh, Dembele just overtook a guy coming into the, the pit lane but in comes Dembele refueling is good, tyres are good uh, the engine is, is what's going to kill us that's so so slow uh, but it is good, so Dembele has lost a position to Valdez, which I was fully expecting, but we're in 13th and 15th now, which is uh, which is okay, but um, I'm the only guy who's on wets. Um, and the rain is going to increase, so I'm wondering whether any drivers would actually consider pitting for wets this late in the race. Um, I'm going to decrease... Valdez's fuel to to medium, but I'm going to put Dembele's up to overtake. Not not only so she can defend, but uh, because she's got excess fuel as well. So ah, so Gerard has retired, which means that we hopefully should should gain another place. Yes, there we go. Valdez is up to 11th. Dembele is up to 14th. Uh, and that should be up to Valdez up to 10th and Dembele up to 13th as well when they get past Girard. This is looking very good all of a sudden. And the wet tyres are, are looking quite good as well. The track is soaked, so we should actually gain more time on drivers ahead. So if we switch to Valdez now, he he is in a, a race now. He's about to unlap, him, uh, unlap himself from Beauchamp's, but... Again, he's not really near anyone. Oh, but your gearbox is going down. I'm sorry, ignore. You've got you've got two laps left. You can live with that. So Dembele, uh, Valdez is up to ninth. And Dembele up to 13th. This is looking good. So in hindsight, I'm going to put go up to attack and overtake for uh, Valdez. Uh, so he can defend from 10th uh, place. And Dembele has gone to 11th. Dembele's up to 11th now. I, I'm, I'm not sure if she was beforehand, but I'm pretty sure... And now she's in 10th. I'm pretty sure... Well, no, in fact, I'm, I'm certain that Dembele has gone up. Uh, so it looks like going onto the wet tyres when we did has actually benefited us. And we're going... It looks like we're going to come home in 9th and 10th, which will be an excellent finish for us. Um, and and I, I must say, I was not expecting this when we were... We were down in fourteenth and fifteenth, but this is this is turning out to be an excellent race, and it looks like Jaja, the race leader, is in trouble as we've just gone past him. Um, but he should come through to finish uh, the race now in first place, uh, which he he doesn't actually. It's Beauchamp, his teammate, that overtakes him on the line by the looks of it. Um, and Valdez is out of fuel. Oh, what have I done? 
Oh, I haven't managed that properly. But Dembele has finished, but... It looks like... No, in fact, Valdez will finish ninth, but he's coming up to 8th place. Who is having problems. Now, whether we can overtake on this final lap, I'm, I'm sure we can. But we may actually be able to finish 8th with Valdez. Even though, technically, the race has finished. And we have gone up to 8th. We have... At Valdez has taken 8th on the final lap. While Chu is having enormous problems, even though Valdez has no fuel, he crawls around the final court. He may even take 7th at this point. I don't know if he can, but he's going for the overtake in the final lap. Final lap, and he has gone up to 7th. Oh, wow. Valdez has made up 2 places in the final lap, even though Beauchamp, the race leader, had finished. And, and Valdez has no fuel. He was able to overtake 2 two other drivers at the end of this race that that was amazing that was absolutely amazing uh, and quite funny quite funny as well um but still oh wow 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 i cannot believe what what has just happened but but that is excellent oh So from that race, uh, the leader, uh, the winner, sorry, uh, was uh, Beauchamp. Uh, second was Jar. Uh, Jean, uh, Jean Dottier uh, was uh, third. Arbelo was fourth. El Sadat was fifth. Antonov was sixth. Valdez was seventh. Uh, Calavacanti was eighth. Uh, Chu was ninth. And Dembele was tenth, rounding out the top, top ten. So... We <laughs> We managed to get two cars in the top ten in our first race uh, with uh, ZRT Autosport, which is very, very nice. So we continue on that, and that'll be a nice points haul as well. Uh, Scrutineering, uh, no rules broken, excellent. Uh, so there we go. Valdez finishes seventh and get, gets 14 points, uh, and Dembele uh, finishing tenth gets 11. So that's a lovely points haul. Um, we could have actually gone for the... Uh, Eighth place uh, uh, objective, uh, but we went we went safe, 16th or above. Um, so we we have got 75,000 uh, pounds. But at least we know that if we make the right decisions, we can compete um, in the top 10, uh, which is nice to know. So if we continue. There we go. Uh, obviously, we're in seventh and tenth. Uh, this being the first race, uh, but we are third in the championship uh, uh, team's championship. Uh, 25 points, 16 uh, behind Garuda Racing, which is leading the way on 41 points, which is very nice. So we'll continue uh, some news reports. So yeah, oh, what a crazy final lap that was! I'm going to have to go and have a lie down after that. That was amazing. But overall, I think I think you'll agree that that was a very very eventful first race. Um, and there we go, we'll see what uh, the stats are like and, and whether they improve or not, which they do across the board uh, for uh, Valdez anyway. Um, the only change uh, for Dembele that's positive is uh, the driver morale goes up, um, as does uh, the relationship with the mechanic actually, but that doesn't go up for Valdez with uh, Alex Gray either, which is interesting. But, um, but still, uh, if we continue with that, uh, so we gain 69,000 pounds for that race which isn't massive but as you can see we've got a lot of expenditure um uh, our, our new designer uh kelly is taking up quite a lot of the budget as are our drivers but i feel like at the end of the day we can uh we can start competing uh at a higher level which means we can choose those higher um rewards uh, which means that in the long run we will gain more money after all this is our first race this was a learning curve um and we're still getting money and we're in the positive so i'm happy with that so that pushes us over uh, the four million pound mark um that's the world championship uh, motorsports uh standings i'm not really bothered about that because we're not there that's the asia pacific super cup again not really bothered but this is what i'm interested in so we are seventh and tenth in the driver standings and third in the constructors which is very very nice so there we go and the gearbox has been built as well um but anyway uh, i'm gonna bring this episode to a close now um i'm sure you'll agree that was a 
a very, very eventful race, but sorry um, it took so long to get there with all of the uh, admin stuff we had to do at the start. Um, now that we've got past that, the, the rest of the episodes will be a case of we'll focus on uh, the next race, so the build up to uh, the next race in Munich, uh, sorting out the car, getting ready for that, and then we'll do the race. Um, and that will be how these episodes are going to go. So we'll do, uh, uh, well, we will do one race uh, during uh, an episode, um, and that includes all the build up uh, towards that race. Um, so uh, thank you for the patience. If you have got to the uh, the end of this video, uh, but I'm I, I'm sure um, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to say it again that the end of that race um, for for me was is definitely worth the the wait. Um, but anyway, uh, again, as I said earlier on, if you guys have any suggestions of how I uh, I can improve, uh, or how we actually can improve ZRT Autosport, then please do put them down in the comment section below. Um, if you are looking forward to this new series, then please do hit the like button and subscribe for more. Um, I will aim to upload at least one of these a week. Uh, I might see if I can do two if I get the time, uh, but I can't promise that. But I'll definitely try uh, try and upload once, uh, once a week uh, uh, one of these episodes. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time.